When experimenting on a machine learning project, data scientists usually try many variants and iterations. They try out several estimators, different kinds of feature engineering, several ranges of hyperparameter search, and so on. A good practice is to keep track of these experiments in order to retrieve the experiment that match their use case. Usually, either the model with the highest score or the model with the best compromise between the score and the computation time. For experiment tracking, scientists log their parameters, their metrics, their code versions, etc., in order to make their experiment reproducible. Now, let us perform some experiment tracking using SCORE. So I am using SCORE version 0.9.1. I am inside of a Jupyter notebook. Here, we load a classification dataset and we split our data. We choose a few classifiers. So here we have a logistic regression with some scaling, a decision tree, and a random forest. Now, for each estimator, we get its estimator report. We have talked about the estimator report in a previous video. Basically, it helps us evaluate and inspect our pipeline. Now, let us create a SCORE project. For tracking purposes, SCORE allows us to easily save SCORE estimator reports in SCORE projects. This is great because the estimator report encapsulates all the information we need to reproduce our experiment, mostly the model and the data. For that, we use the PUT method. We save our estimator reports in our project. Now, we have saved our experiments. How can we retrieve them? we can use the metadata method. When getting all the reports that are contained inside of metadata, by default, we get the complete list of estimated reports in our project. We can manipulate this loaded report, for example, by using a comparison report. We can retrieve, for example, each year estimator and the benchmark of the metrics. We can also isolate one report out of the list of stored estimator reports. And we can use the score helper for this report. We can also get the report metrics of this estimator. So in this example, we only have a couple of estimators, so it's easy for us to find the report we're interested in. What happens if we had dozens of stored reports and we wanted to select just a few of them? In score version 0.9, we have a new search feature that helps us navigate through our stored score estimator reports. By using metadata, we get an interactive widget in our notebook to visualize and explore our results. This is actually a parallel coordinate plot where each coordinate tracks the performance of a metric. We get a clear overview of our history of experiments. So here the random forest, the relative regression, and the decision tree. We can check some metrics. So for example, the competition metrics and the statistical metrics, or uncheck some. Thanks to this plot, choosing the best model gets easier. So we can choose the model that performs the best, not only according to a single metric, but also other metrics. We get a bigger picture of their performance. Now let us search for the estimator that performed the best. We can use the interactive widget to select the models that we are interested in. We are looking for the highest ROCAUC and the lowest log loss. Our search is highlighted in purple. Now in the list of stored reports, we automatically only get the ones corresponding to our search in the widget. While the widget is great for exploration, the Python API is perfect for automation. Alternatively to the widget, we can perform the search using the Python API. For example, here we want a rock AUC that is above 0.9 and a log loss that is lower than 1. So that's a wrap for this demo. With SCORE, we hope that navigating through your stored experiments will be easier.